Moffitt Cancer Center researchers say women going through chemotherapy after a breast cancer can suffer from chemo brain. We're taking action for your health tonight with information on what that is and what can be done about it. Patricia French is going through her second round of chemotherapy treatment for breast cancer that has spread. During both sessions, she noticed some strange side effects. Sometimes I can't even remember why I'm in the car and where I'm going. I forget uh, people's names, I forget dates. Um, I'll go grocery store and I'll think, oh, what did I come in here for? And I'll have to walk around trying to remember what it is. And I... Commonly referred to as chemo brain, Moffitt researcher Dr. Heather Jim recently wrapped up a study to prove whether such a thing actually exists. She looked at 17 studies already published on 800 breast cancer patients treated with chemo, as well as breast cancer patients treated with other therapies in women without cancer at all. This type of study allows us to um, analyze data from a lot more um, participants than we would if we had to go out and collect the data ourselves. So what we found was that breast cancer patients who had been previously treated with chemotherapy showed slight deficits in verbal ability. So that would be, for example, finding words when you're speaking. Um, and they also showed slight deficits in visual spatial ability. So, for example, they might have more trouble putting together a jigsaw puzzle. The importance of the study to women like Patricia, it proves. <laughs> that I'm not going crazy? Absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Jim says it also opens the door to possible therapy. A neuropsychologist, she suggests, can offer behavioral techniques to compensate for those lost deficits. What the study didn't show, will these deficits last long term? Are the agents in the chemo causing cells in your brain to die? Dr. Jim says her study did not look at that, but there are studies that suggest some types of chemo can cross into the brain and cause death among neurons, and that may be one of the reasons that chemo brain begins.